Ronnie Baxter, congratulations. A uh, relieved and happy Ronnie Baxter, I think it is tonight. It's like I'm back. I, well, I, I wouldn't say you'd ever been anywhere, to be honest. Well, I do, because the last two years it's been a, it's been a poor display of uh, first rounds. And uh, this year, uh, coming back in form, I mean, I, I was nearly out of the, uh, the match play at one time, and then all of a sudden uh, I just spurted into, uh, into a good play at Birmingham, won that one. Uh, runner up at, at Crawley, and that was to Dave as well. So, in some respect, I owed him that one. And it was only one fault that I did in the final uh, to lose that. But uh, me and Dave have, uh, have had a few, and that's the first time I've, I've got all of Dave, and what a place to do it. Yeah, you've, you've had a bit of a build up of form to a performance like that, haven't you? Yeah, that's what I say. From Birmingham, uh, just showed what I, I was back. I've had uh, quite a bit of treatment on all muscles and, and whatever. So, it's, it's coming too. And uh, being 3 3 0 up, uh, I thought, yes, I'm back into the game. And then all of a sudden, I just went to sleep and let Dave back in. and that's when it made it such a tussle, I think. But um, I'm quite pleased as I was a comeback. I mean, um, a few of the shots was like a 140 in and then the opponent did a 180. I did it, Dave did it. So it made for a really good game. Now, you've played a player who's fairly new to the PDC circuit tonight. You get to do it again on Thursday in Dean Wynn Stanley and, and he had a great introduction here. Excellent, yeah. 5-0 down and beating uh, Gary. Well, it's like anybody says, if you put enough pressure on anybody, they'll go. And uh, Phil's not uh, the exception. And neither was Gary tonight. Have you been impressed with Dean in, in the last six months or so? Yeah, he plays a good uh, Yorkshire bingo. That's what we do. We play the Pro Tour, is like. And uh, it gets all the doubles and the finishings. And, uh, but uh, I'm sure it's going to be a different game up there on Thursday night. It's, it's somewhere that you're very comfortable on, on the Winter Garden stage. It's only a couple of miles from, from where you live. You get great support. And obviously, you know, the special orange shirt when you come here as well. What you're trying to say is I just fall out of bed and turn up. Yes, it is. <laughs> no Something like that. Yeah, well, the orange and white is... Uh, uh, I mean, last year I turned up with all orange and white and it was just because they were in the Premier. They, uh, they'd just gone into the Premier. And so um, I just thought I'd mix and match it with uh, my own colours. Like, so I hope you like it and if you don't, do it tough. <laughs> and you mentioned your, your shoulder before. It's something we spoke about a few weeks ago where you've had a long-standing problem with, with the muscles in your shoulder and, and the way they fatigue. Obviously, it's a little bit of a longer game. Later in, later in the week. Are you going to have to adapt your training to make sure that you're right when you go up on stage? Yes and no. It, it all depends how it's going to pan out now. Well, I've, got to, I've got to watch I don't do too much. Uh, so I get that needle again. and uh, It's always there because it's all, it's all about our RSI over the years. Repetitive strain. So I've got to watch it for the moment. I've had, a, I've had enough treatment and uh, as you can see it's coming through and things are there. But uh, sometimes you just get a little bit of niggle and it puts you off. But... Um, the niggle stayed away just enough tonight and uh, get me through. Brilliant. Well, thanks, Ronnie. Hopefully we'll uh, let you get back for last orders in the pub. Uh, I doubt it now. You took too long doing this interview. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Cheers.